Yeah. Where would you go to look at it, analyze it? <laughs> to the very end. <laughs> Why? Because it reminds me of my preparation for class. Mm -hmm. If that's true, what do you make of it? What do you make of it? <sighs> I don't, shouldn't even be there. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is just not my interest. And what's the, uh, what's the problem in the, in the dream up to that conclusion? Well, I'm taking on a job that I have I know nothing about. And I I'm coming in in the dark. I What's the problem? The problem is that myself's not in here. I'm not doing any of this for myself. That, that's true. What's the problem? Okay. I'm not asking anybody for help. What do you think of that? That's a challenge. Okay. In what way is it a challenge? In what way is it a challenge? Well to ask for help. First of all, I'd have to find out who who to go to. So I would have to go to some people who I don't even know and then inqu start inquiring. How did I get this position? What's the challenge? You said it would be a challenge, challenge to ask. Do you see it as a challenge? Well, well you mentioned the word. I, I, did, I don't want to yeah. hold you to the word if it doesn't fit. Right. In the dream, all right, mm -hmm. you see what's going on and you realize that you don't ask. Yeah. The thing Question. is, I don't yeah. even want to ask. I don't. I don't care about any of this. And even the thing you care about, which is using the restroom. Right. That was interesting. Yeah. Did you see the conclusion to that? I didn't ask anybody. No. The conclusion. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know, but I saw some people, they look, I thought maybe they were some. And then I don't know if I even, well, I don't know if I even, I guess I used it, the last par, plus the last paragraph on page one. Starts with plus. See that last line? Yeah. I'm still aware of some to use the rest of oh. So plus. even if you even if you do achieve your goal or did achieve your goal, you have that statement which means what, truly? And then I don't know if I even well I don't know if I even I guess I used it then. Yeah. So you don't even know if you achieve your goal or not, right? That what it says? Yeah. 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 You you caught it well when you said don't care. I don't care about. It. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what does that do to you? 
right now when you say that. I don't care. What's that to? Well, it's a state of anger and frustration, and like I've just had, I've just had enough. I don't want to deal with it or think about it anymore. And I call that not caring. Although, with that tone of voice, suggests that I really do care. But, um... But this feeling of... Frustration is that I... Blocks you from... Yeah. What? Blocks me from... Caring. And acting. And acting on that? Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not familiar with that word, uh, caring. What do you mean by that? I don't care. What does that mean? Um, well, Mm. <laughs> oh God! What does caring mean? Uh, it means that I it's an interesting state, doesn't it? You're in yeah. it. Yeah. You're in it now. Yeah. It's really big. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's it do? What's it do to you? It's big. Come on. Right now. What's okay. It? Hey, it's right now. Yeah, like if I cared about the time I I was supposed to start at 7, I would have looked. I would have found out before I got there what time sure. I was supposed to be there. Yeah. So, um, so don't care that everything that follows everything is consistent that with that image. Since you don't care, this is what happens. This, this is what it, what follows from not caring, right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's that like, though? You said it was big. Yeah. It's all over. Mm. Huh? I don't care. I don't care. Well, you it's a it weird was... statement. It sounds like it doesn't make sense in a way. That's okay. Um. Sounds like an excuse, like something you might say after some after a disaster. You might pull that card out and say, "Well, I don't care. I'm not going to say I don't care. Well, uh, I don't care. Hmm. I don't care. I mean, personally, I don't really use that statement." Consciously, it's like, I think, really a problem. Yeah. 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 It's a, that's a rather interesting remark. Right. It's like after a disaster, I don't care. That captured the I don't care, didn't it? You said that, did you not? Yeah. 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 Does that capture the I don't care? What? Would you ask it again? No, no. Well, you just said, uh, after a disaster, I don't care. So I just wanted to know what state of mind that was. It's, those two comments are curious, aren't they, if they're linked together?
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, like I said, I don't personally really use that phrase I don't in my that, in my but, life. But yeah, but um, <laughs> looks like it fits though. But yeah. In this case, I, it fits because I don't care about this coffee business, and I don't I don't care enough to hang around and collect the money and yeah, take it's all care over. of it. It's all over. It's all over. You're seeing it all over in that dream, are you not? Yeah. Yeah. Then you captured it. You captured it in that phrase. After a disaster, I don't care. So what kind of state of mind is that? Well, like let's say I give an exam and my students do poorly on it. Like students are getting worse and worse in, in the school when it comes to say exams. So like it's shocking and I think, well, I need to find out what's going on here. But then I say, I don't care enough oh, that's good. about what that, they're doing. Hey, that's just like this, what you just said. Yeah. There's a disaster you're saying and you don't care. That fits, doesn't it? The example yeah. you just gave. Yeah. Uh-huh. And because I said this is a this is a job for me. This is this is you know, I'm doing this for my for an income, I am not trying to figure out what these students are going through or... Yeah. Or... What state of mind is that? You just described a beautiful event. You look at the papers or the data that comes in from your students and you see a disaster going on. Mm -hmm. And I don't care, it's just a job, right? It's just a job for me for income. I don't care. Well, if I were to, I mean, one thing I could do is turn to the students. I mean, I, you know, I do ask them to write out some things about how do they account for their failure. But I could personally ask them in class, tell me, you know, tell me what's going on. But I think that would be embarrassing for me. Good. Yeah, so I just it. avoided and I said, I don't care. Because they don't want to talk. I mean, they do want to talk, but at first, it's like they're shocked that somebody's actually asking them. So, then I feel embarrassed and... Yeah, well, that's rather important, that embarrassment, isn't it? You're in it now. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's it, isn't it? I mean, you can't act because uh, it, would be, it would embarrass me, right, to, to go ahead and... Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's, you were just in a moment ago. What is what kind of state is that embarrassment? You just experienced it. Well, to realize that I'm you? serious about, about you. Oh. Embarrassment. Huh? Well, it takes them some time. Yeah. What is that state respond. of embarrassment? Could you put words on them? Well, 
Like they think I'm being foolish or uh, and that would be embarrassing if they think that about you. Keep going. Would that em would knowing that embarrass you? Embarrass you? They would think I'm foolish. So you don't want to ask them because that would be embarrassing. Well, you know, I'm I'm embarrassed by the material I'm using. That's uh, keep going. I don't know where with that. Okay, means. so I've got this uh, textbook that um, I'm using, and. Oh boy, uh, and I expect him to read it. Yeah, yeah. You were going to talk about that okay. embarrassment state, weren't you? Right. Yeah. I don't know if I if I can go there now. With uh, this just, route. Hey, you were just there. You can right. do it. Well, usually. The embarrassment is that they're. I'm afraid they're going to just say, "Well, you're just a terrible teacher. You're, you don't cover the material very well." And um, yeah, they may say that. Right. By the way, we're not on the subject. You were going to talk to me about. What kind of state embarrassment is like when you experience it? Okay, so I have to give you a better example then. Yeah, that is that might help. Yeah. So, for example. Uh, by the way, uh, that ever happen at home? Embarrassed. There's a disaster there too, isn't there? Oh yeah. Oh. Totally. Oh. The whole place was a disaster. Yeah. So I was embarrassed to bring friends in to the house. Yeah. Yeah. And what that embarrassment keeps you from what? Well, it, it, I would do this whole diversion strategy uh, to keep make sure nobody came to my house. So it would keep me from just offering. Um, that saves the embarrassment. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there's the embarrassment at school when I got good grades in math. Yeah. Go ahead. And the teacher would come and say, okay, guess who got the highest score again? And it would be me. And he would always, like, announce this. Okay. When he turned back the test, guess who got the highest score again? And pretty soon it was like always me, and then uh, I was wearing my sister's red sweater, mm -hmm. and he said, "Your face is as matches your sweater." And then I realized I was embarrassed. Yeah, by being recognized. Yeah. Yeah. Best not to be recognized. Right. Right, avoids that embarrassment. Yeah. By the way, does it also shut you up? Yeah. Oh. 
Do you think maybe you have to put words on it? On the embarrassment? No. Confront the disaster. You've mentioned two disasters, have you not? Yeah. What, uh, what are they? At home. And? And sc school. Yeah. yeah. And in both cases, you're not saying anything. For to say something would embarrass you. It would show you care. Is that right? It would show I care. Yeah. At home. And in school. Well, the thing at school was weird because after that, like, I, I was really, um, I don't know, this thing happened after this high grade thing. Then somehow I decided I wanted to talk to that teacher and I, like, asked him if I could meet with him. So I went in like after school or something and met with him and we were like both really embarrassed. I don't even know what I wanted to meet with him about. But it seemed like I was like kind of like aroused and excited to meet with him. Sure. And then when I got there it was like he was embarrassed now. Yeah. His face was red. And it was like so awkward. Yeah. And it really put a damper on my interest in math after that. That did it. Killed it. Right. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Uh, it looked like, again, you couldn't say anything about his condition. No, I couldn't say. Yeah, because... Uh, because because um, I was the student and he was the teacher. No. I don't know why. Is it for the same reason you can't say anything at home? Probably, yeah, you can't say anything. Yeah, like you can't say anything about, a con about what people are going through at the moment. Can't call. You can't care. You can't show you care. Mm. Right. That's the whole family then. That's the whole milieu. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, to be there, you embarrassed and frustrated. Right. What do you think you have to do to get out of this? <laughs> Um, see, because... I could turn on my tape recorder see, for one. Yeah. I have a tape recorder. Uh, what do I have to do to get out oh, of this? Cool. Hey, look. Yeah. It looked like your teacher recognized you had a natural talent to mathematics. Yeah. Understood it. That knocked that out. Yeah. Knocks out everything. But, um, right, I mean, that state of not caring wipes out everything that you might care about, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Mm. And to risk caring means you're going to have to put it into words, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Say, so, what do you think you could have said to your family in the middle of one of these <laughs> everyday disasters? Every day is a disaster. Though. Every day is a disaster. Right? Yeah. Uh, what could have you told them? Hey, Mom and Dad, I got news for you. Finish it.
Oh, shit. That's a good beginning. Shit. <laughs> This place, this is not fair. You know, Dad's drunk in the middle of the living room every night, peeing on himself, and I need to bring some friends in here. How, how can I bring friends in here if Dad's sitting around like a baby? <laughs> and your mother? Unco passed out, and my mother's drunk as well, but at least she could still be walking around. Yeah. Uh, do you want to let them know what it's doing to you, personally? Well, that's the part that... Yeah, yeah I think it ought to be said then, though, shouldn't it? Could you tell them what it's doing to you? And you can use the word embarrassment if you prefer. Or care. It embarrasses me. I don't know. I just thought if you were going to go on. I asked you, do you want to tell them what putting up with this kind of behavior does to you personally? Yeah. What would you say? I'd say this is ter this is embarrassing. It's it. I can't bring people in here. Of course. I can't bring my friends in here. Yeah. By the way, you didn't answer the question. But I don't know. You know, I haven't really thought it out. I mean, they didn't bring friends in either. So yeah. it was like that was just the milieu that. Right. 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 Do you want to tell them what it's cost you not to show your care? Oh. For what's going on? Right. Do I want to? Well, do it. Well, like my mother did, you know, when my brother brought A's home, she was like, great. She would, but if I brought A's home, she would say, don't show these to anyone that just makes people feel bad. Go to your room, basically. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Say it again. What will it do if you show people your It'll age? It'll make people feel bad. Embar it would embarrass them. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Feeling bad Especially is if my brother saw them. Yeah, he then was I'll a boy. go back to you. Uh -huh. What is she saying? Don't show your ace to anyone because... It'll make them feel bad. What does that mean, I asked you? Well, you said that it would embarrass them. Uh, you, well, I want to know what you think. Uh, that they would feel bad. That they would... And therefore? According to her? I don't know. It's just the language she used. Yeah, I know that. They're better. trying to understand it, you see. Right. Yeah. And then a girl shouldn't do that. It was okay if, if my brother oh, would, oh, had oh, br oh, brought oh. home high grades, especially in math and science. Yeah. But what if uh, she sent you to your room? Uh, is yeah. that a reward or a punishment? No, it was just the idea of, of punishment, yeah, punishment. So what is she doing? She's saying don't excel. And don't show yourself. Yeah, because it would make them feel bad. Yeah. Do you think it made her feel bad to see those A's? Yeah. 
Was she then embarrassed over your age? Yeah. You caught her problem in the palm of your hand. Yeah, because she had studied science, and I don't think she did as well. Hey, what should you have said to her then at that very moment? Come on. You got your age. Boy. You're showing her. She no. says that, and therefore, what should you tell her before going to your room? You believed her. Yeah. Yeah, she how, hey, she's rational for the first time. She's talking to she's you. She's talking. Hey, yeah. hey, she looks like she knows. Yeah. Looks like she understands. Right, and looks cares. Like she, <laughs> looks like she cares. Like she cares, right, she's showing care. Right. By telling you? To hide. And mm. to not show what I can do. Therefore, what should you have told her at that very moment? Yeah. Hey, she finally revealed to you the secret. It's a secret. She shared it. Hey, you know what? If you share this around here, people are going to feel bad. She's telling you what she finally thinks. Right, right. She's letting you in on the family secret. Right, and it was especially about the girls. Especially yeah. about the and you happen to be a girl. Yeah, and it was like, before your brother gets home, you know, put it away. Don't yeah, don't show your brother. Don't let him see this. Don't let him see that you're equal. Right. Well, again, what should, uh, go ahead, what you should have told her at that moment. What are you going to take that shit? That's all. I took it. I, took I asked you, shit. what do you think of it? Why not answer her now, right now? Come on. This was the milieu. You know, he got lessons. Uh, he had mentors come in and... By the way, you they, didn't have mentors coming in to help you. No, but he you did because he was You did it all on your boy. own. Right. Yeah, so go back now, put that in the story. What are you going to tell her? See, this is, it comes up now, but I don't care. The I don't care feeling comes up now. You have to. Uh, yeah. Because you're, then you're not dealing with what she's saying and doing. That wipes it out. I don't care. Good. Good. I mean, it was such yeah, a Yeah, hey, good. Problem. What do you think of that? Good. It's over. What do you want to answer her? If you answer her, you care. So interesting. Yeah, it is. That's really a double bind, isn't it? That one. Yeah, it's like you can't I can't even talk. It'll show you care. Yeah. You can't bring up the issue itself. And it's like I gave up academic interests at that point and got more into social interests. Of course. Started doing cheerleading, you know, trying hey, stuff that I really didn't care about. Didn't care about and didn't do well at. Yeah, that's right. But then you're. But you're, I thought that but, has to be what I I got to do something well. Yeah, yeah, so especially the things that don't matter. Yeah. You've been doing that ever since. Yeah. Time to answer it. Yeah. Well, go ahead. What are you going to tell her? That's your teaching. You bought it. What do you think of her teaching? Don't tell me you don't like it. Answer her. Is she still living? No. Well, what? Hey, she's in the next world. Answer the broad. <laughs>
Toll. So you're telling me what the effect is that it had on you. It wiped out your academic interest in math and science. After this point, you went then socializing and taking interest in a bunch of things, all, all of this, and you don't know why you're doing it. You don't care about it. Yeah. That's life. Want to answer her about her teachings now that she just gave you, that you accepted because she looks so damn good? What? I don't want to say it yet. Why not? Because I don't know what I want to say. Oh, 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 so you're going to keep the problem. I don't mind. What the hell? You know, people have problems. They go to hell with them, without it. Yeah, go ahead. Shit. Yeah, you can't say anything, can you? Can you? Take her ass, Julie. She's a, she pisses me off now. What, what? It pisses me off. Uh, it does? Yeah. Then why don't you tell me what pisses you off? She should know me. What? She should what? She should know better. Oh, but well, if she should and isn't, what are you going to call her? What are you going to say? It's terrible what she's doing. Well, why don't you tell her it's terrible what she's doing? That's the oh. first step. Go ahead. Oh. Uh. <sighs> She's like, I don't know what to say. Where sure to you start? Do. Yeah, She's you like do. a bitch for one. What? What? A nice. bitch. That's not bad. That's but not you're not bad. telling her about the effect that her teaching has had on you. Well, to... I didn't know at the time. Ah, uh, pardon that... me. Bullshit. It's so interesting. Hey, you knew right away. You couldn't do well in math. Therefore, you're going to do this other stuff. You knew damn well. Come on. That's true. It. Yeah, what are you going to tell her? What she's doing is terrible to you and your world. That's right. You're not going to say anything to her? Maybe I'll fly back to Minnesota and put a thing on her grave <laughs> <laughs> saying something. <laughs> I haven't had a reason to go back to that grave, so this might give me one. Hey, you can do it right now. What would you put on her headstone? Shit. Come on, what are you going to tell the broad? Uh. Shit on it. Wait a minute. Come on, stay on it. Uh. <laughs> what did you say, dude? Hey. <laughs> okay. You see, your whole life from that event yeah. can now be explained. Why you take care of all the bullshit. Yeah. The things that don't matter, but you're devoted to it because that's what you discovered she wants you to do. Is that right? Right. Yeah, what do you think of that? That teaching. What are you going to make a statement about? Go ahead. She's your teacher. You found your teacher. You found the axiom of her low life and your life. Well, the, the axiom was give up what's meaningful to you. What like she had to do. Like she did. Oh, thank you. You're going to tell her that, aren't you? Say it again. What are you going to tell her? That sh that having to give up, she wants me to give up what's meaningful to me, just like she did to herself. Hmm. That's hey, that's a good beginning. That's a good beginning. Uh, do you want to tell her the effect it's had on you?
Well. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because you don't know. Oh, you don't know the effect it's had on your life? Well, it seems oh, like oh, the effect. Yeah, oh. I do know, but I don't know if oh. I want to tell her. You don't know what? If I want to tell her that. Why? Want to save her? Uh... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's similar in that I got more involved with appearances rather than my mind. I gave up my interest in cultivating my mind. It went more into the world of appearances, big time. So what effect did it have there for you? going to tell her? Now and that's what she was all worried about, was how things appear. She's your, she's your teacher. Yeah, right. She's and you got teacher. the teaching. Right. Right. And you got the scene where it, it got hammered in. Yeah. See, the reason what you just said is not an answer is because it was not framed as if you were answering her. It was a good remark, and it does show you understand it, but you're not using that to her. Oh. Well, except that now that I'm trying to work with students, I'm worried about how I'm going to appear rather than dealing with the issues at an end. Uh, uh, that's good. And what were you going to tell her about that? That's good. And that comes from what? Her concern about... how my grades, the appearance of my grades would cause my brother to react. See, the reason you don't know how to answer this... Yeah is because you don't know what she's, what she did at that time to you. What did it do to you and your life at that moment? What kind of a person would do that to their, their children or their daughter? Come on, answer. What kind of a person is she? Doing what she's, she's doing. Seeking revenge, it seems like, mm. for that having been done to her. That's good. You, then you Probably could tell her by that. Her mother. You could tell her that, couldn't you? Therefore, how would you put it to her? Hey, Mom, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Yeah, because, are what are you, a little revengeful about your uh, not having yeah. been able to finish your studies? A little revenge? Well, are you taking out your revenge on me because you didn't finish your studies? And the effect it's had on you? You want to tell her that or not? That's what you're holding back, aren't you? I've lived. Yeah. Saving her. You don't want to tell her the, what it's cost you. Why not? Mm. Uh, would it embarrass her? To know that? <laughs> would that embarrass her? Uh... Well, now that you mention it, yeah, that would be pretty, pretty um, direct. And that would Nobody's be... Nobody's been that direct with her before. And that would be... To tell her? It's embarrassing, is that right? The height of embarrassment. To tell her. Well, it, 
seems like it even goes into cruelty. I mean, it's like so Thank bad. You. No, now you come out, you're doing better. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you're not supposed to be that direct. Uh, well, you're now being direct, aren't you? What does it do to you this far to be able to say these things? Well, at this point, it's like, hey, that's nothing to say that. But when I think about my sister, uh, they can't take any kind of criticism or feedback or critical questioning. They just can't handle it. They can't even answer it. They can't even remember they heard the question. It's just so... You're seeing the effect it's had on the whole family. Not just you is what you're now... Right, right. What you're now adding. Especially the women. My brother can still... So you can make a statement about, hey, not only... He used to get really angry if I were direct with him. Yeah, yeah. Is that why you want to avoid... Hey, you know what? Right. You know what? If she gets angry, that's her problem, not yours. Now, do you want to tell her the truth or not? Well, if she were to get angry, that would be a real a breakthrough. <laughs> that would be showing care. That would be showing she cared. And she can't do that, so she Then you're not going to give her a chance to show she cares by shutting up. That's true. Oh, oh. Saving her, I guess, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Saving her. Ah, once again, the values of being honest. Yeah, yeah, you're saying it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no yeah. way around it. Yeah. Do you want to be honest now or give up? That's a good way to see it. Yeah, just be honest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, gonna be honest? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I'm gonna prepare my class. No. With what? your mother. No. Oh. So she needs, you need, mom, you need to look at, you need to find out what, why didn't you finish school? Can I tell her what the effect it's had on her, on you, and on the other women in the family? Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, you couldn't finish school, so you probably feel pretty bad about that. And <laughs> you ended up with this weird husband of yours? Or... Rather than pursue your studies and now you're trying to take it out on me and by getting me to stop my studies? Is it just you or all the women in the house, all, the, all of her girls? The girls. Are you going to include that it's not just you that she's doing this to, but the whole family? I don't know about my sister. Yes, you do. You just said it. Yeah, it was yeah, girls. Yeah, come on, don't do that. I should talk to my sister about that. No, you don't uh, have to. Can I answer? I'll give you one more chance to be honest. Okay. Go ahead. To tell my mother? <clears throat> what? I don't know. I forgot. She's She didn't finish school herself. So she's angry <coughs> about that. And now you're good. Now you're going to tell her about her teaching or not? The price you're paying oh, the for her teaching? And yeah. What? That I ended up thinking that it was wrong to pursue mathematics and the studies that mm -hmm. I was attracted to and science because mm -hmm. it was, I thought it was wrong mm -hmm. and I, I wasn't capable of it. 
That's what she, that's what her remarks did to you. Right. So instead I got all involved in the social world and got involved in and that was all BS. Activities that were all booty. Yeah. God. No, oh, okay. Not bad. Shoot here. Not bad. <laughs> not good, but not bad. <laughs> got yeah, close. Not okay. I have to think about this. By the way, what, what do you think of the fact that your brother's A's as a result of your mother getting special tutoring for him and you never had special tutoring even though you went on and got all the A's? What does that show? Well, he got tutoring in art. I don't care. Okay. He went on to be an artist to some degree. Yeah. So you're left with it. What, is it, what does it be, to be honest? Right. Yeah, okay. It's not good. You're so good. that's a good guideline for my class, how to arrange my class this semester based on what they are, based on honesty, rather than trying to strategize how to avoid. What's the class what you're teaching, by the way? Introduction to psychology. You're going to be truthful with that? Well. God. <laughs> With what you know? Well. Okay, just joking. Oh, okay. I think I yeah. should mention also that Julie does these preps for her t students when they're going to take a test that are just over the top. I listened to her talk about her preps and the fact that she gives them these sheets of definitions, they have to go into the chapter and find these definitions, and she and she she reviews and reviews for these tests, and they still do crappy, and she's feeling like she doesn't want to ask them, right? That would be like asking a mother. What don't I want to ask them? Oh, well, the what the question? One of the questions you started out with, right? You said, well. Yeah, you you said that they're that every year students are getting worse. Yeah, and you look at their grades. Yeah, and you don't want to ask them. Do you remember? Well, yeah. What's going on? Why why they didn't do a what they're not studying? Huh? Why they're not studying? The way you know. Yeah, or what you know All that you give them. And also, what's going on with you? Not what's going on. That makes it sound like you're not doing a good job. Like, What's going on with you? Well, direct. That's yeah. the key. <clears throat> What's going on with you? What's going on? Because then you open it up to them criticizing you and embarrassment. And according to Barbara, you're doing a fantastic job. So, like, putting the thumb on them. And also, I thought you'd said that you do ask them, like, what predict to what grade they're going to get, and then. When they, after they take the test, you act, ask them to account for whatever difference there is between the, te the, the grade that they got and the grade that they had predicted or wanted. So it just seems to me that you're doing a lot. But I think yeah. he has it in the sense of, you know, what's going on with them or... And she is showing care yes. without addressing the problem. Right, there we go. I'm showing you. Without addressing. What problem? The problem of not reading? Pretty soon you'll be doing your test. Right. You know, they're not asking them what kind of struggles do they have in, in doing the assignment, that's all. Right. What's going on? What school are you teaching? Fullerton. I mean, they have problems like they, they can't afford the book. So I have it on reserve for the people who, do, who can't afford to buy it. So they, they could go there. Um, some of them live in really crowded, some of them are homeless. Some of them are living in crowded conditions. At UCI? No, Fullerton. Fullerton. Oh, okay. And they can't, yeah. 
and they can't find space f of, for, to be quiet. I tell them, get in your car and drive to the beach. Drive somewhere, sit in your car and study. Or go to the library. You show care. I show care. You are. Yeah, I do show care. And that's what they like about me. Sure. But I don't do... But you're not raising that issue to the school itself, that, hey, we have a major problem here. The school knows. The school even has food bins, because these students, some of them don't have food. They can come and get free food. Well, isn't it time that they got together and tried to address this problem? textbook grants or well <sighs> publishers have made have tried to address the issue by it's not lowering the, the cost of books by making that, them ebooks that has nothing to do with it by the way what if it turned out that uh -huh. uh, a good number of these people had the same kind of mother that you had oh i'm sure they did you mean the students are this? Students. Yeah. Right. They did and do. Yeah. Someone has to address that. Hmm. Wow. Huh. That's kind of nice. It is a psych class after all. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So you, okay. Would, you would be helping them on the whole other level as well. Yeah, that's a whole other level. Uh, no, no. It's the level. <laughs> the only level. It's not food they need. Right. Well, I, I do mention it kind of in passing sometimes that they may have mothers who don't want them to excel in school or use their mind. Culture, fathers, mothers. Because it's mainly Hispanic. Well, I thought you used sometimes the language of midwifery too, of blocks or counterattacks or thoughts. Oh yeah, counterattack, yeah. I thought you did. Like what would your mother think if you did too well and got an A? Right? What do you, you find? Know? Well, I don't wait for a response. Oh. I just mention it. No, too bad. But to actually give, ask that question and have them write out a response or something? But, well, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. That's you don't know whether it would be for them to be truthful or be honest? to have that opportunity in the class. I think it would be valuable, but I don't know how to set that up, like oh. when to do that. Just said you have the questions, you just didn't ask them to write it down. What's the BS? Right. Uh, I guess I'm thinking that the school might object. Why don't you check with them? Why be foolish? Ask them, hey, I'm thinking of asking this question. What do you make of it? <laughs> I, th I think they would say, no, don't ask it. But Well, at least then you know what their response is. Then you have to decide whether you want to live with it. Right. Although I could incorporate it into a chapter on, uh, you know, into a chapter where we talk about reward and punishment. You know, how would your family reward you or punish you or, you know, put it in terms of that. What would their reaction be to your bringing a home? All you have to ask them is, what, what reaction do you think 
you would receive coming home with a report card of A's. Right. Right. Yeah. Are they, by the way, coming out of a Catholic background? Some of them, yes. Probably largely, yes. Although more and more students are... What, what percentage uh, are women? Uh, probably... 60% are women, 40% men. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You're getting better at telling the truth. Not complete. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Thanks, that's great. Yeah. That glass of water is for you. Thank you. If you want. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay. So can I do it from here? Go yeah, go ahead. Right right uh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. So, um... Oh, wait. Let me move the microphone for you. It's all about the red vessel. I think sure. those appear. I think David took them. Oh, there he is. Okay, why don't just read it? Sure. In this dream, this is uh, last night's dream. So in this dream, we're organizing something, and basically, I'm the person who sees we have everything we need to do what we need to do, which means making sure we have the, like the tomatoes we have turn out not to be usable, so we have to get more tomatoes. The silverware, different groups have different projects. That's from outside the dream. We end up cutting it off of chandeliers in order to get pieces that, well, the chandeliers are made out of silverware, but they are also strung with purple crystals. So I'm in the building, and people come in looking to help, and I seem to be the one setting them up to do the different tasks. In the course of the dream, apparently, the neighbors say we were the best people they'd had in there in terms of doing things well, like quietly, cleanly, and wholesomely working harmoniously together. At the very end of the dream, my boss, when I was working, this is when I was back uh, before retirement, comes in and my dad comes in and my dad wants to help, but at the moment there's nothing for him to do. So I like pat my dad, grab my dad and kind of a half hug and the guy, the boss says we can go out. My dad asks whether we can go out for lunch or something and my old boss says, oh yeah, yeah, and we are on the point of leaving to have lunch. And people are continuing the preparation for whatever it is. It is either a big party, probably, or a celebration. And that's what the dream is about, and that's the way the dream ends. And so the guy says, yes, he can spare me for some time so I can go with my dad and have lunch. And that's just a comment from outside the dream on the bottom. There were different waves of people coming in and doing different things. I gave them a continuity, make sure they knew what the last had done and what was working and what we needed to change. It was a light-filled and happy place. Oh, the microphone. Well... <clears throat> At first I thought, well, I thought it was an answer to the question of whether I was organizing in yesterday's dream or not. And the fact that in yesterday's dream it appeared I was doing something positive, but I couldn't put it in words. I couldn't even see it mm -hmm. in the review. So in this dream it seemed like I was doing something positive, but I want to say that I wasn't working, and therefore I was a bad person in this dream. And that this, my boss, is one of the most totally useless bosses I've ever had in my entire career. So why he would play a role like this in my dream, I don't know. He's not only useless, he's harmful to our program. And so why he's coming in, he's the boss? Ugh. So I don't understand that. But that isn't really, uh, well, so I gave you one I make of it. Now, what do you think of the remark you made? Which one? Oh. Uh, um, 
I wasn't working. I'm a bad person. Oh, yeah. Well, that's in the back of my mind while I'm doing this. There's this voice going, yeah, but you weren't actually making the silverware. Yeah, but you weren't actually going to get the tomatoes. You weren't working. And that's, uh, I feel bad. I feel uh, like that's a legitimate uh, criticism. If you don't mind, can you give me a, a, the attitude that was present at that moment? Of the, the negative voice? Or yeah, you weren't working is the way you uh, summarized. Yeah, I wasn't working. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like I have to be in a certain state when I'm wor to be a good person. Now, it's a working state, and that means you have your head down. What? That means you have your head down. Your head down. Head down. Yeah, yeah. and hole. you're not looking around. You're oh. just head down and into the stuff, into the work. That's not interesting. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Why that would go together. Yeah. What, it's like a, it's yeah. like a field worker yeah. who has to use a short hose so everybody can see they're working, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's like I have to be covered with dirt and I have to be worn. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And yet the other side of me... I mean, one side of me can see I'm playing a positive role, but the other side says, no, you're not. I like the attitude you show in one yes. of those times. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? It is. It's, it's someone, isn't it? It's Well, partially it's my older sister. Well, let me hear about it from your older sister. Go ahead. My older sister was always... I think she was meant to be my my mother's lieutenant, first lieutenant or executive officer, and make sure things got done. And um, so I just I can seem to I can, I remember when she was maybe eight, and I would have been well maybe she was yeah eight, and I wouldn't have been older than maybe six or five. And she was just telling me off, telling me that I wasn't um, doing the right thing. And we were, uh, I think I thought I was helping. I was five years old, whatever it was. Maybe, maybe we were just, I was playing. So what do I remember about that? See, uh, whatever you were doing is less important. Yeah. As what she's doing. What is she doing? Well, <laughs> um, she's raining on my parade. I, I, I felt really in a good state, like I was. Doing something positive and contributing. And I was enjoying life. And it seemed very beautiful. And she's like... You're wrong. You're so wrong. And she was... She wanted to make sure she kept on talking until I felt crappy enough. Then she would walk away. Uh, right then and there, as she's walking away, what should you have said? What the hell is the matter with you? More. <laughs> You're bringing me down, criticizing me unfairly. And you're acting as if you know everything, and I'm five fucking years old. I'm not a fucking field worker. And if I think I'm doing something helpful, you know, you want to give me a helpful task to do, give it to me. Don't just sit there and shit on what I'm doing. And me, and especially convince me that I'm a bad person at five years old. What is the problem with you? You have a problem, not me. It's not bad, but you're not telling her what state of mind you were in that she yeah. objected oh, to. Yeah, oh, true. It. You know, yeah, I was in a great state of mind, and I would have been happy to do anything to help. I was the kind of state of mind I was in. You know, you want me to carry something somewhere? You want me to so, wash something? I would have so, done it. Well, do you want to say something about the fact? The fact? Yeah, that's it. You know, I, you know, my dear sister, Pat. I, I, I'll, I'll do anything to help. You just have to tell me. You don't have to criticize what I'm doing and make me feel shitty. Because that isn't, you're, you're a liar. 
You have no object. You know, she has no object to try to act. She's not really teaching me about what work is. She's. Um, you want to deal with the reality? Um, what state of mind did she see you in? Yes. You know you were in? Yes. Well, I was in, I was in a really high... To, yes, dear Sister Pat, I was in a really good state of mind, a beautiful, open, uh, free uh, state of mind. Is, does that play a role in what she's saying? I think that, yeah, I think that's your only purpose uh, in why, this why encounter you, is to bring me down. Want to change it now? What are you going to tell her? Well, you, you, my sister Pat, must have learned to bring me down this way, the way you were brought down. It doesn't make it right. It's in itself unjust, wrong, hurtful, and it's a lie. You, you're never actually instructing anybody in anything. Yeah. By what way, am I missing? Still uh, missing something. Say, why is it that you're not mentioning the state of mind you were in? I did, I thought. Say yeah. I was in a free, open oh, state of mind? Not. You didn't say that in the last statement. The free, open state of mind? Yeah. Hmm. Just, I'd just like to hear it. Okay. Um, Pat, you walked up when I was in a beautiful state of mind, free, open, enjoying life, loving, enjoying you as my sister, and you brought me down and made me feel bad about all of myself by telling me I'm not doing whatever it is you want me to do well. That, it, that I'm the lie, but I'm not the lie. I'm, I'm, I'm a kid, I'm doing something, and you could have easily taught me, but instead you just brought me down and walked away. Left me feeling hurt, left me feeling unworthy, and I was in a happy mood to begin with. I loved life, and <laughs> you left, I felt like a piece of crap. I just have a curious question. Uh, you didn't ask or challenge or communicate to her why she chose this moment to dump on you that oh. teaching. Okay, fair enough. So it seems to me that you chose this moment that... I, I'd like to know what you think you chose this moment for, but personally, I think you chose it because I was in that state of openness and freedom, and that that's your only goal, is to wipe that state out. What's the difference? Oh, I think it's good. I th asking her asking her what she sees in, in that transmission, but also telling her um, what I think it, what I see it to be, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, so what do you think of that, Pat? You know, what do you think of what I see? Because I'm, because unlike her, I wouldn't have to blame her. I mean, I wouldn't have to say she's bad intrinsically down to her last cell in That's order right. to. You're pointing out that there's something she fears herself. Yeah, in one way. Thank you for that. that. Yeah. Would that be worth that? Yeah. Oh, that'd be worth that. How you know, you put it? just that you, you, my sister Pat, were taught fear this state. You were brought out of this state, this freedom and openness, and you fear that you think you're actually helping me out probably, but you're not. You think I'm going to go away from the family. You think I might get into danger. You think people might take advantage of me, all because of this open freedom. Yeah. That's your fear. And her suggestion of how to live is to be a... To be a worker and keep your head down. Yeah, and be therefore a, be dedicated. Oh, the worst. The lowest. But I mean... In what state of mind? Oh, in, in a bad state of mind. Right. Like a slave or a... Yeah. Or a, a serf. Yeah. Would that be worth adding? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So not only did you see a beautiful state, see it as fearful, want to get me out of it, but you also gave me a role in life that's persisted to this day of only thinking work is when you're a serf right. and you can't even look to the selfness of what you're doing, to the authenticity. Mm. Uh -huh.
Yeah? That's rather pretty good. Important. <laughs> important. <laughs> Why is it important? Well, I I think it's important that she should also hear the impact of the role setting. You know, that it had an ongoing impact of changing my approach to life. So I changed my whole job based on that. And never thought I should get out beyond it. Right. Never thought I should get a different job where I would have worked a few less hours. Right. And had more time for the important stuff. Right. <laughs> what do you see? Different. <laughs> What's the difference between your response and Barbara's? What is it you have difficulty saying? The effect it has had on you. Right. Yeah. Why is it you don't want to share that? your experience because uh, it might embarrass her yeah okay All right. yeah uh -huh. I got to watch, listen to your answers and uh -huh. the difficulty you were having. Yeah. And that really helped when I was trying to give my answer. And still you saw, I missed, right. in a way, I missed the most include the, the gold by it until at the very end when I added most of the factors together. But that's because I was listening to you struggling. It's really overwhelming for me to see the impact of that. That's right. It's been my whole life. That's all. It's really, really something. But, and uh, to share that with your mother. <laughs> Go ahead. It's like how she spent her whole life, too. Just phony, uninvolved, couldn't really participate. It really accounts for yeah. a lot. Yeah, you're ignoring yourself. But yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just kind of enjoying seeing the ramifications wherever they are. It's crazy. It sounds like you're excusing her, though. No, I'm just kind of... Looking at everything. Ah. So, uh, Julie, uh, yeah. what? Uh, what would it mean if you could uh, share that with your mother? By that I mean the effect that she's seen has had on your whole life? Gee, it seems like we'd be friends. Oh, it would change everything. That's all. Yeah, I mean, I could just be myself. Yeah. I'd just tell her. Yeah. Therefore, it's best not to tell her. Oh, 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 no, no, that wouldn't. That isn't no, the way. No, no. Okay, Regina. Um, I have a question about this dream because I don't remember it. You Other than the words. Pardon? I would just say, do you have one more for Sam? Oh. Yeah, mine. Okay. Mm. I don't remember it except for what's written here. It's That's good. That's all we need. Um, it was last night, and I was in a very strange state because, well, I missed Friday night, but in the middle of the night, I thought it was Saturday morning. So I'm thinking that. I'll be, uh, I think I got up late or something, or would get up late.
Is this cut off? Nope. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. There it is. What? There's the dream. Huh. I guess I gave you a... Sorry about that. I don't know how you got that. I was running along this road. That's the one. Yeah. And the end is I would stir a couple of... No, there's two more lines. Oh. It should have the end. You don't... I don't have the end. Let's see. Maybe I'm sitting on top of that notebook. You could grab it. Oh. Really? Yeah. Let's see the end of it. He's got the end of it, the onions. Oh, interesting. I guess I cut it off. I wonder how I did that. Well, it must have gone on to the next page because it's the end of the page. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Do you want me to read it? or Not, not yet. I have some pecan pie there too, Pierre. Hold it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are the puzzles you find in this? Outside of the dream? Um, I have another one, too, if you want to do that one. It's a Please. Bit. Oh, okay. Well, the running along the road, that was clear. It was the second part. Then I was asked to be clear because the last time someone had been clear, it seemed like there was a lot going on before that. But this is all I had put on the tape. I had this idea, what? Do, so that's unclear. Is that in the dream? What? Is, is everything on this sheet in the dream? It's everything that was on the tape. So, and I don't remember the whole dream. I'm saying, you asked me what's puzzling, what are the puzzles. Then I was asked to be clear because the last time someone had been clear crossing the street. I don't have anything before that. It looks like there was something before that, but I don't have it. But this thing, I thought he's talking about the last paragraph because there's that part about breakfast. I'm Is saying that, all that in, as far as you know, in the dream, or only you only know it's on the tape. What do you mean? I had this idea that when I woke at four or five. I would be alert to be clear for breakfast. That's all in the dream, if that's what you're asking. Yes. Okay. It's like when I woke, so I was in a dream. Yeah, okay. What do you make of the dream? Uh, well, the first part was strange, and the last part is confusing. Like, uh, th this is just all, all, all on the tape. I, I don't have any... Okay, stay with the first part. Memory of... Stay with the first part. Okay. Um, what I remember was I was running along this road. It was an amazing road. It was very wide and long road. It was uh, a dirt road, or I say dirt. It had, a, it was rough dirt. And the immensity of it was very wide and long. Yeah, that's yeah. what I remember. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want to continue? I was small compared to the road. Oh. And 
I was going towards this huge castle or house, but I couldn't, I hadn't gotten there and I couldn't see it, but it, the road was kind of going up like this, so. I mean, it was going uh, up, but it wasn't. The idea of the castle or the house? Just that it was huge. It was a large, large, like the road. Looks like there are two things that are large, They're rather. Very large. I well, noticed the way that I was running seemed strange. Like, I felt like it's like I was running, but I wasn't heavy when I was running. It, was, it wasn't like, I wasn't heavy. I was running. <laughs> and it seemed like, like I was empty like empty in the sense of nothing was holding me down by weight or I, or like I said like I'm almost lightweight what's that like which which actually made it better because then I could the the road was rough so that it was almost like I was, it was rough, very rough road. Um, what was, what was that like? That was, it was, um, when I noticed, I noticed it in the dream, like I was light or empty. I called it empty. Um, that made me lightweight, not so heavy, um, which made it possible to run on this rough road because it was, um, it, it, like, it, it, like if, I, if, this isn't in the dream, but if I fell, it would be hard, it would be very bad. But somehow being light, I, I could move myself up the road. I don't know how. I don't have a memory of this dream. I mean, that's all I can remember is the... the what is, Jana, what does that mean? What do you mean? What Just what I asked. What does it mean? What do you mean? What? I said several things, so I don't, what do you mean? Well, I could ask you what it was like realizing you were running in the way you were running, and you were running towards a huge castle or home. What was it like? Um, a lot of work. <laughs> hmm? It was a lot of work. I, I mean, I had to get there, and it was going to be a long way. It's not, it wasn't, it wasn't, although I was empty and light, it was a lot of work. And I was small. It wasn't like I was large compared to the, I mean, it seemed like I was small compared to the road. So it made it, actually, it was good that I was light, but it, I was small. I wasn't a, a big person. What age? Hmm. Interesting. I, I, my first thought was about four or five. I mean, that's how small. I wasn't a very, yeah, very small. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't older. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, what was it like uh, running along that road towards that huge castle? A lot of work. I mean, like I, I like being small, and I was tread. You know, like it required a lot of effort and a lot of work to. And I saw where I had to go, and it would take. It would. It was a lot of work to get where I was going to have to go. Yeah, what do you think of this idea of a lot of work, Richard? 
a lot of work. What do I think? Yeah. I think of that that uh, about the work I do at work, and I think a lot about the kind of work that is required for uh, studying philosophy in the morning or on Friday, all of that. It's a lot of work. The other thing is cleaning out my garage is a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah. 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 And it's well, often, <laughs> often repeated, isn't it, that idea? A lot of work? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. repeat it a lot. Yeah. Uh, what are you leaving out? Mm, I don't know. Hmm? I don't know what I'm leaving out. Why are you leaving out the state of mind you were in while you were running? Well, I, the closest I can get is that it was empty and lightweight. Pardon. And that was. That's good. That's as close as you can get. I mean, it wasn't a bad state. It was. Pardon me. If that was the state of mind you were in running, mm -hmm. and you said that allowed you to, to go through it safely. Yeah, more so. Right? Right. Being young and, and lightweight yeah. made right. it better. Yeah, yeah. That's all I mean, positive. It was, it was a rough road. Yeah. It's all positive, isn't it? I don't know. Um, uh, just up to this in this discussion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What brings in the negative? A lot of work. That's right. It's not in the dream. Um, it is initially when I look at the amount of where I, I mean, like what I have to do. Oh, that's interesting. It, like I, I see the road ahead. I see what I have to do. But then when I'm running, I have to run. It's like that. It's like suddenly this empty, lightweight state takes over and I'm not really working. Paying attention to you're not working. <laughs> I'm not working. What do you mean? Well, I'm not. I'm not looking to the work like I did in the very beginning when I saw the road. No. Yeah, that's true. But you keep using the idea of work negatively, do you not? Yeah. Well, because and you give examples of the kind of thing where you see associated with work. Oh. Yeah. Uh, are you? Reading that into the dream, therefore. Pardon, I was are distracted. You, are you reading that into the dream, since it appears only to be in the initial image of the dream? Right, I remember that. Well, yeah, yeah, interesting. It was a very wide, huge road. Uh, Gina, what do you make of that? Well, the language is how I see my work that I feel like I have to do and get done and to no, do good me. work. I don't know that image of doing work. What is it? For you, what is that? Mountainous uh, amounts of information in one study mountainous amount of data in another area, mountainous amount of um, paper uh, boxes that I should be going through. What state of mind accompanies that? Just to, just to look to that? Uh, Discouragement. Um, weighted. 
complaining that it would have been, you know, I should have done this regularly. I should have done this kind of work on a regular basis. More? Been more disciplined. Orderly and organized. What else? So it's very weighty. I complain uh, a lot. Find it interesting that it's not in the dream? Hmm. Well, yeah, it was in the beginning. But then you overcame it, didn't you? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, you? I use huge world. I'm small. I'm running towards a huge cat. Everything's huge. Oh, what do you find interesting about the remark you just made? That everything is mountainous. But, like you said, when I start actually when I am doing it, it's not, it's not, it, it, I'm not paying attention to the amount of work. Maybe that's it. I'm, hey, I'm not a. But that's not even a thought in the dream. Only in the beginning. Only in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Therefore, what is it showing you about that state of mind? Well, when I get into the running and stuff, I'm not aware of the amount of work there is. What does that mean? Well, I need to get into my work so I don't have to pay. <laughs> I guess. Well, what does it mean? It means that I'm the, the idea of being a lot of work is uh, not true. Hmm. And the image that you presented about work uh, is not of concern in this one. But it is part of your milieu. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. Therefore, what is the dream saying, Jenna? Well, it's false that the work is a lot of work if I'm in it, or when I get into it, or when I'm in it. But where would that go? Well, that's interesting. What is? Um, I have a class. Oh, that's another thing. I have a... <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> it's almost... I have a class. I, I have a class I bought that was inexpensive. But it's 19 hours I have to do for my license. And I do not... I have not wanted to do it at all. I have put it off. I don't want to get into the topics... It's cognitive behavioral therapy, and I don't know why I signed, well, because it was inexpensive, and I thought, dang it, I should have just gone to the class. It would have been over and, and cheap. Uh, say it again. I should have gone to the class? I should have gone to the class. What would that have done? Just get it over with. Oh. So now what do you have to do? Well... I got, I actually, interestingly, I started doing, I, I started doing some of the work last night, or, yeah, and not last night, actually earlier, but um, I noticed that it was interestingly, I could see, I, I, I like, the modules are, yeah, a lot of them are, there's a lot of modules I have to go through, but the kind of work I went through the test itself that we have to take at the end, and I saw that I could answer almost 50% of the questions without even having gone through the the class. So I'm going. So it's like it's not true. Well, in that case, I don't know about the other cases, but I noticed that about that case. I haven't gotten into the boxes in the garage or into all the data I have to look at for work. 
but I can tell you when I have gotten into the data at work, it's been, it hasn't been difficult. I just get into it and I'm not even aware of how much I have to do. Unless you bring back the th The state of mind of that this is a lot of work. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. By the way, do you have an interest in understanding what this behavioral therapy is formally? I didn't want to. I didn't I'm want to have I'm asking you if you have an interest in knowing how that idea is being presented to people who are going to use that information to be qualified as a psychologist. I have not. Why not? Okay, good question. Uh, because I just thought it was work work and I didn't like what they were doing but you and could how they make a note of every one of those points and uh, write an article against <laughs> behavioral therapy couldn't you? Cognitive behavioral therapy yes. Oh do you have an interest in this kind of thing? I have an interest in making midwifery well, you know, I, I, like I watched the guy, and, I, I, and and interestingly enough, I did get upset because I said to myself, "What have I been doing?" It's like I, I, this guy gets up in front of several hundred people, and he does this presentation, and I'm going, "Well, it seems like that. What would happen if philosophical midwifery was put under that?" kind of presentation, that that's what, what, what this guy went through with CBT is, it's almost like stealing parts of philosophical midwifery, but not really getting to the cause of why they have the problem they have. They, they talk about looking at the past, they talk about the present, they talk about the thoughts, the feelings, the events, what triggers this, what triggers that. In other words, you have what you but need they, to write an article. But they have no methodology but to... But you have now, you are now rehearsing, are you not? Well, I couldn't, I don't feel like I can do it. I don't know, that's what blocks me the most. Well, it's a lot of work. And, yeah. <laughs> It's a lot of work and yeah. also a lot, a lot of, of work. lot of courage. <laughs> uh, what's this courage business? Well, I'm thinking of the guy who's uh, presenting. What's the idea of courage, too. Um, Don't tell me about the guy. Well to be able to argue strongly uh, that and show how philosophical midwifery is much more superior and in what way without being uh, uh, um, being dogmatic or authoritative or what's keeping you from doing it work yeah hmm. looks like work is a uh Milieu problem. Well, it's like what do you, these guys go through is that's all you do is work. I mean, you got to think, you got to turn everything into work. Then it loses its meaning. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about this image of work? Come on. Uh, well, you got to finish the class. Um, make notes as I'm going. Um, uh, discipline myself in doing the the. Well, see, it's not discipline. Nope. It's really like over the past week I've been doing the theology of Plato, and I've really enjoyed it. Oh, <laughs> actually, it. I, it's like when I get into it, it's not work. It's I find myself totally amazed that I'm reading it without work, <laughs> work, or being upset that I'm 
confused or yeah that's all gone <laughs> looks like your family teaching is being challenged would you agree yeah it's hmm? interesting yeah yeah it's, yeah well I guess I better go to work <laughs> get busy get busy <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. So the image of work is robbing you of work. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. Sounds like play. Yeah. Getting close. Danger. Well, I'll be interested in seeing what my next dream does. No, no. We'd be interested in knowing what's going to happen to you when you decide to do that project. Yeah. Good. Thank right. you, sir. Pleasure. I'll talk to you when's the next midwife, when's the next Friday? <laughs> <laughs> when do we have Monday. Uh, Monday. I'll talk to you on Monday two then. Two days. I got two days. Okay. <laughs> I'll see how much work. How That's much. all she needs. <laughs> One afternoon. Yes. Yep. Oh, that's true. One afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep, yep. Wow. Yeah, what do you make of the dream, sir? Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm? I don't know. Do you mind if I read it? Sure, go right ahead. I'm on an airplane with my mum. I think as we walk into the airplane, we're affectionate towards one another. We reach our seats, but then there are windows opposite our seats, and a couple of them are open. They're regular windows like you'd find in an old house. They slide up and down, and I think it's weird. I don't like it when airlines try to save on money by doing this. I'm like, we better close these before we take off. So then I'm pushing down the window, sliding it down to close it. Then I'm leaving my mom to go do something. When I get outside, the airplane has a deck, kind of like a ship, but we're flying through the air. There's a swimming pool on the deck. Right now the water is very turbulent. I'm out there and I dive into the swimming pool. It's very nice. I'm swimming as the turbulence of the waves is moving me around. I was trying to get to the other end of the swimming pool so that I can get out and look over the edge of the fence. I was wondering if it's dangerous, but there were some people there on the edge doing some kind of spectacular thing because it's like everyone is watching what they're doing. Then those people creating a spectacle start to leave that area. The area turns into a kind of big parking lot and I once saw somebody ride a motorcycle in a certain way and I wanted to do the same so I was getting on this motorcycle and riding around the parking lot. There was a guy who was a very experienced rider and I think he didn't like, he didn't like the way I did something. I rode past him once then I was I rode past him once and then I was driving around my mum trying to create different patterns with the tire marks and the tread on my shoes or something. Anyway, the other guy sees that I like his motorcycle and he just walks up to my mum and I and he gives me the keys to his bike. I'm half in disbelief and half thankful to get such a present. Mm. Yeah, oh, interesting. What do you mean? I seem to be kind of uh, getting led down some rabbit hole or something. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. It's kind of mm. going from one thing to another. Oh, that's true. Uh, of course, that ignores the first paragraph, doesn't it? I don't see what you mean. Well, you're not being led down a rabbit hole in number one. 
Or are you? No, I'm. I mean, no, that's it. Hasn't started yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What do you make of that? Um. Ah, let me ask you another question. How are you functioning? For paragraph one. I think very good. I mean, there's affection, and then there is. I'm seeing the danger of the. The window. I think. And therefore, you're doing very well. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing that's doing very well? There was something dangerous about leaving the windows open. Uh, is there something dangerous about the plane having the windows? Yeah. Oh. What do you do about it? Well, I, I don't do anything about that. I don't think I could do it. I mean, what? I, <laughs> I guess we could leave the airplane, but... What do you mean, you guess you could? For some reason, it seemed like almost a normal thing. That's, that's just what airlines do these days. They try to save money on, by... And you have to go along with it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you yeah. make of that? What do you make of that? You recognize it's weird, dangerous. But after all, you gotta go along with it. That's what's going on. Yeah, okay, that's good. That makes sense. Well. What? Uh, I mean, I could have. We could have left the airplane. You could have. Yeah. But then you wouldn't be using that great slogan, following that great slogan. Going along with it? Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Say, so, uh, how does the idea of going along with it play a role in the rest of the dream? Perfectly. No. I couldn't have guessed. <laughs> what do you make of that? Hmm. Going along with it. Yeah, well, uh, what state of mind is that? It's... It doesn't have any, like, purpose or any any goal it's kind of in reaction it's reactive it is not reactive mm. not that it is reactive uh, I, I mean like I'm it's kind of like I'm at the whim of my surroundings oh, that's what oh, I mean oh that's good yeah, what's that like again? I'm, I'm uh, like uh, the wind. Go ahead. No, what's that like? Well, it's kind of like I'm a feather in the wind. It's uh, it's. Um, like th there's a certain there's a certain. Um, Elegance and creativity about it, but at the same time, it, it's um, it's meaningless and dangerous. Yeah. Is that true? Well, I mean, I go along with everything, so yeah. so yeah, it is true. <laughs> but I forgot to ask you, what kind of state of mind is that? Like, what does it do to you? It's very much like, like, like wind. Like I, um, I get a, I get a certain, um, I get a certain like momentum, and uh, there's a, 
and that momentum pushes me into whatever whatever pops up. Um, yeah, which is a good way of being, because then you don't have to what. Take responsibility oh, and. Oh, oh, oh. What else? Then I don't have to um, challenge myself to oh, go in a certain uh, way. Uh, how does that fit your lifestyle? Well, like, th there's been times when I, when I d didn't do that. Yeah. When I was very focused. Yeah. And those were in stark contrast to mm. the rest of my life. Yeah. 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 Which was more like this. Mm. Um, well, where does it come from? That's a teaching, isn't it? Yeah. I think it comes from my mom. No. Who it's kind of like when she's when she's in the house and she's uh, like I don't know, she might call it looking after the house. And what that means is she's in the house and then whatever she wants more Pierre. Whatever she notices, uh, like that needs doing like cleaning the dishes she'll just do that right away and then as soon uh, as pardon me she sees you doing it and what does she do takes over no not me well i gotta know i was just describing put, her the way you put it say it again uh, i was just saying that she sees some dishes are dirty no. and then she starts washing them no oh, okay. and then as soon as um, as soon as uh, she's done with that, or even before she's done with that, she'll notice something else and she'll move straight into that. So she'll kind of orbit around the house in this way for like the whole day and just jumping from one thing to another and none of it has any meaning. And it's just like... That's why I call it like a feather in the wind. Ah, that's where it is. It's like a feather in the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Right, right, what do you think of that? Good way to be? No. What's wrong? There's no purpose or, or meaning to it. It's just wasting time. It's just... Uh, how come you picked it up? I don't know. It's like when I think back to home, she's always around doing that. She's always somewhere around. Yeah. One moment she's there, one moment she's there. Yeah. And that's always yeah. around me. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you made some conclusion. Well, I never pointed it out to her. Uh, why not? Well, she uh, she has a kind of um, that that's kind of an honorable role that she plays. That's a c considered an honorable thing that she's doing because she's taking care of the household and she's, you know, uh, a homemaker, uh, but um, hey, give me a grade. How well is she doing? How well is she doing? Yeah, on the house. Oh, on the house? Yeah. Uh, no, not hmm. How's she doing? Like a C. Oh, 
So it's not very good. the kind of work she's doing, she's giving you a nice model for C grade. Is that right? Yeah. Well, what do you make of that? That's curious. Maybe it's a D, actually. It's um, hmm. It's just really average. It's, it's just what do you make of that? And you wouldn't, of course, challenge that because <laughs> she's doing a noble thing by doing C grade in this activity she has of taking care of the house. Yes. Yeah. It just seems so normal, so... Yeah, yeah. It is normal because that's all she does. Right. That's her normal. Well, got any question for her? Yeah, like, what are you doing with your life? Why are you spending your, your all of your time doing meaningless tasks, menial work around the house, and mm -hmm. teaching me to do the same? You're not telling her that the work she's doing happens to be a C grade, are you? Right. Why is that important? Well, it makes it even worse. That's why. Well, in what way? Well, because not only is she uh, not pursuing her m meaningful goals, but even the these secondary or third-rate goals she's doing in an average way. Yeah, but after all, she's doing an honorable thing. You did say that, didn't you? That's how she thinks of it. I don't think it's honorable. I mean, is that what she thinks, or is that the way she appears? That she's doing something both. honorable? Oh, both. Yeah. Oh, therefore, what is it? It's, uh, it's, it's bullshit. It's, <laughs> it's not honorable at all. Yeah, what do you want to tell her? <laughs> I want to tell her that what you're doing is, is nonsense. You're you're, you're pursuing menial tasks and you're doing a shitty job with them. While? While? Appearing? While appearing noble. <laughs> wow, that's really... That's well, what does that do? That's really what, saying it. <laughs> what does that do, that last part? What does that do? <laughs> well, it, it, it tells her that she's full of shit. And it's it puts... It really nicely sums up the um, what's going on. Oh, and it, did, would you include the effects that has had on your life? Yeah. Why don't you add that to the story? So it's uh, you're you're waste, you're wasting your time doing menial tasks and doing the doing a shitty job while appearing noble, while appearing noble while doing it, and, or making believe it's noble while you're doing it, and you're teaching me to pursue the same meaningless crap in an average way while appearing noble. Well, and all this time, we agree not to put it into words. Up to this point, right? Right. And, we, and we've been doing... It's like a secret teaching. Now you're exposing it, isn't it? Yeah, we've been... Hey, we've been silent about this for 20 years, but this is what you're doing. Yeah. And the effect it's had on you? Right. What? Is that just like you? I fo I also let myself get carried by the wind like a feather and doing stupid things. Uh, therefore, who are you acting like? Like my mother. Oh, is that important, Dad? Yeah. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Wow. 
Interesting. It's amazing how, like, completing the sentence changes the, the impact. That's right. That's being honest. Have to finish it. Thank you. Thank Fun. you. Fun. Fun. Thank you. Here, I had this thought about the end of the dream because in doing the dream, just what we did, it bothered me. I go, why? What was bothering? I felt like something was really going to happen. Very, something bad was going to happen. And and at the dream, in the end of the dream, I'm. I got to watch to make sure that girl doesn't get hit. And so that state of mind had, I worry, you know, like there's a, there's a consequence in my family if you're in that state. So that, that's, I, I, I don't know, it's just uh, yeah. something that... So the reason uh, it's not clear in the dream yeah. whether or not she is in a dangerous situation when you make that assessment or not. Yeah, that's true. Well, there isn't any danger, I'm just, I just have to make sure she... I have to look to make sure she's okay. There isn't, it's clear. But if there's no danger, what do you think of that teaching? And I don't need to do that. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Curious. Oh, interesting. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, dear. <laughs> I left you a pizza pecan pie, mm -hmm. if it's still there. Yep. yep. I, I got this little mm -hmm. pecan pie, if you like. Mm. Oh. I don't know. I can't eat it, so I don't know what it tastes like, but is it okay, Sam? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. oh right. That's my family. <laughs> I don't know if my friend I heard of that too. In Have you? Back in the days. I was going to pass that over to him. That's yes. I actually have another one of these at home. You don't have a need for one, do you? Because hmm. I bought them for some other purpose. Hmm. I collect them as well. Hmm. I have enough. Um, Fascinating. Wow. Wow. So he put he finished it by putting the words on it like 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 what you always tell us to do or encourage us to do to complete to complete yeah. it or to make it real. Yeah. Good way to put it. Make it real. You know, when I even when I talk with my boss and uh, he's been in a tough situation. Mm -hmm. with co-workers, and when I put word on it, it hits a target, you know, and it comes a bing, bing, and then it, it either brings that individual to reality as well. Yeah. And, and it also makes it real for me, too. Sure. Because I actually was being honest and clear at that moment. Right. And I think they, and they hear it. Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Honest yeah. and clear. That and is not worthwhile saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Can can these go to the yeah. various people? Like this. Oh yeah, of course. On this note. Yeah. yeah. Just leave them on the table. Okay. There's the dream master of this one's Julia's, but I don't know. Yeah. Notes on the back. Okay. Dream master over here, question. Okay. The iconic imagination. Oh, iconic imagination. What do you think? Yeah. This is, yeah. It's a model for scholarship. What is? Uh-oh. This book. But oh. you might ask Pierre whether that's a good thing. Model for scholarship? Therefore, inter yeah. 
It's interesting. Oh, we, so thus, we should all model ourselves on this model. No, wrong. I no. wondered if I got that wrong somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a quick note in that, in looking at the video that I was watching, um, they don't, they don't hold on to Ellis either. They don't include him in cognitive. Nope. BT. Because he pushed the envelope. Yep. And I knew him at that point, and he was, you know what I call it, chicken. Yep. Yep. But he pushed it. Even so. He he continued, He didn't include behavior. He included feelings, but not behavior. And that's, that's where the difference is. Now they want to call it cognitive behavioral. That was the. That was my story. I came yeah. to New York to work with him, and he said, Pierre, if I put in the role of the mind, I'm out. Well, they kicked him out anyway. <laughs> That's right. I get as much. They did. They kicked, no, they kicked him out in terms of have, being in the history of even this tradition. Like they're just saying, yeah, you started something, but really that's not the reality. That's right. And this guy, you know, he made it very clear that behaviorism definitely didn't have anything to do with thought at all. Uh, now, do you have that? Did he print that? Yeah. It, I'd like a copy lecture. of that statement. Okay. Yeah, it's in his lecture, and he, and he actually gives a transcript. That's all you need. Why is psychology alien to thought and mind? Presumably, when that's their object of study. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, well, it's absurd. But, they, but they are saying, it, he said behaviorism initially was that way, totally alien to thought. But now cognitive behavioral therapy includes thoughts. Whatever that is. Well, that's another, thought is a form of there's another behavior. issue of whether, it, to what degree it does and to what degree it doesn't and things uh, like that. Huh. Well, thought is a form of behavior. That's what they're doing with it. Thought is another form of behavior. Action, feelings, and thoughts, oh. those are the three behaviors. When I was in New York, Still in before New York. the APA, big meeting the first time, no, second time, and uh, uh, right after that, there was another meeting at the beginning of philosophical counseling. And a guy came down, who you happen to know, and pointed to me and said, watch out for him, he's dangerous. Is this Donald Davidson or is this? Yeah. Ah. Donahue. Donahue. Yeah. And he kept that up. I was the hated one. Wow. I said, that's insightful. And he was the guy who, who, wasn't he the same guy who didn't do any work at all to make a conference presentation, just wanted to gather everybody else's idea and put them down on sheets of paper and then write an article? Such a... He and that other sure. guy, No, Philip, no, that's a scholar. Mm. Who is that other guy with the children? Philip, whatever his name is. Yeah. He did the same thing. I, I thought about another trauma. Primal therapy. Do you remember primal therapy? Yeah. That was um, based on the idea that being born was traumatic. Then it loses its significance. Yeah. Hey, then it loses its significance. Why? The, the issue is not whether or not people experience trauma. It is whether that in itself is capable of transforming a personality such that they can be defined in terms of psychopathological terms. That's the issue. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going. Is that Pierre's phone? Yes. Yeah.
Nice ring here. Mm-hmm. Oh, 1245. Yeah, I promised I'd be there half an hour ago. <laughs> oh, dear. Didn't you say that uh, it has to be recognized as injustice in order for it to be traumatic? Nope. In order for it to be... Uh... No. Well, that's one of the elements. Okay. Because I know you can experience a unjust situation, but if you know that it's unjust, then it doesn't affect you. Then you don't get a pathway. In all of these events, did anyone ever explore an early scene that showed violence or traumatic event? No. Yet they form the personality. Right Hello, right did, you, did you just call me? Right I'm on the way. Thank you. Right. Unplug him, Jeff. Now I am. Now I become respectable. Hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Wait, is that clear? What I'm asking for? Yeah. The assumption in psychology is that trauma mm -hmm. is the origin of psychopathology in the individual. Yeah, that means physical yes, sir, violence. No. They have to therefore show evidence of that. Right. Therefore, I'm looking for a case that clearly shows that. Mm. There isn't. And if there isn't, I don't know. Hey, if there isn't, what follows? Well, what's what that? follows? Doesn't that every? That's what everyone believes. Then yep. it's just. Then it's a fucking absurdity. Yeah, but, but they don't have mind to any of those mm -hmm. incidences. Like the trauma is has yeah, no words. It's just the incident out. itself. Like. If yes, but, but I'm even questioning whether that itself right. can be a causative factor in the psychopathology of an individual. So when mom poured oil on my, no, when mom hit me with a pan in her stomach. Wait, hold on, kid, until you're done. In my stomach. Uh, that itself is just an incident. I don't know. From that, could you say a definite pattern emerged, a psychological path, uh, pattern that could be identified in uh, DSM three or four? That's the that's the charge. Not that there are not traumatic events in life. No, what was said was traumatic. You can't say what is said is traumatic and still be rational. That's what I read it. Well, oh, I, well, yeah, it did have a, an effect. Did it, did it, yes or no, become the basis of a, a pattern of behavior that could be identified in the MS3 or whatever, the MSR3 or 4? Come on. Yeah, I for me it did. It I, it like it stopped me from having any of those states of mind. That was. But is that a pattern of the MSR three or four? This, or whatever oh, DSM. that. Thank you. DSM. That DSM. Well, he didn't start with that this time, so I didn't know. Not no, they understand. go for symptoms. They don't go for states of mind like that. What it, I mean, it's blocking you from a positive state of mind. No, they don't do that. But I think here what you're saying is that, M is that they have been unable, the field has been, if I hear you correctly, you're saying the field has been unable to show a causal connection between some original Trauma. traumatic event and any of the diagnostic codes. It's that connection they've been unable to show. Physical trauma. Therefore, what does that do to the idea of trauma as being taught in psychology? Well, she seems to be saying that the physical trauma did have an effect on her. Not measurable by the <laughs> Didn't come up with a, diagno a diagnosis that you can find in one of the diagnostic manuals. No, it was an anhedonian. What's that? The inability to feel joy or pleasure.
Yeah, but the question is not just the diagnosis and the code for it. The question, I think, what I hear Pierre saying is, you would have to go further and show the connection between an original traumatic event and that hydonia or whatever. Well, there should be. How did you get from A to B? There should be case studies. For this to be a theory, there, there better be case studies. Therefore, point them out. I just asked yeah. you to go to the literature and give me a couple, that's all. Right. I'm not taking a position. I just want to see the evidence. Yeah, yeah I think you, you're right to do that. So it sounds like it needs to have like people cataloging like case studies. You know, like, for example, if a person that was been abused, then they cannot get into close relationship or have that stable relationship going. So it, it would be that constant disruption in their repetitive life throughout. And they're avoiding the use of diagnosis in modern psychology. That's the problem. What you're saying is true. Yes. Yeah. But the issue is whether or not those kinds of things can be translated in terms of psychopathology as identified in the diagnostic manuals. Mm. No, they, what they do is they give you the present symptoms, but it's through therapy that they assume or it is brought out the possibility that that's the reason for the symptoms. But there isn't a direct... In fact, if... But there is no direct evidence. No. No, it's only... I mean, it was only through therapy or through midwifery that I even remembered that scene. Oh, that's if you look at the inside cover of the DSM-3 and 4, you will see there is a statement that says, we do not understand the cause of any of these conditions. Okay. They, they tell you that at the very beginning, and uh, yeah. Therefore, they cannot assert right. it's the that trauma. traumatic events that's right. lead, they cannot. lead, that's right. Right. Therefore, it's over. Yep. <laughs> and they know it's over. Pierre, I, uh, I was going to do a talk with you today, but I can do it tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow yes. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's fine? Yeah, okay. All right. At uh, Panera. Sounds good. You pick the time. I'll All be right. there. All right, good. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.